of the places had adopted the same story all throughout the world from these olden days, almost all of the gods Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be reacting to real Christmas story, surprising 10 facts should Muslims celebrate Christmas. It's always good to know what other religions feel about other religions, um, I guess events, other people's events. But we'll see what this video has to say and I hope everyone is doing fine and the world is just in shutters at the moment but I hope one day we see peace in the world so sending love and prayers to everyone out there and I hope and I wish you happy holidays. So without wasting time let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum. December. This is a month that most people refer to as the month of Christmas. And on this day, Christian people celebrate 25th of December for the birth of Jesus, peace be upon him. Even though Muslims show the greatest respect to Prophet Isa, or Jesus, peace be upon him, there are some reasons why Muslims don't celebrate Christmas. So here are 10 facts about Christmas Starting off with the importance of the date, December 25th. Fact number one. From the beginning of time, people were excited about the powerful sun, moon, and the stars. At one point, Shaitan convinced some of the people to believe in those sun and moon and the stars as their god. So, they started to worship them. Later, some of the smart people started to learn more about the sun, moon, and the stars, and their movement throughout the year. Finally, they discovered that during December, the daylight became shorter and shorter, and December 21st was the shortest daylight of the whole year. So, Shaitan convinced the people that on that day, the sun died. For the next three days, the length of daylight did not change up until when the day of December 25th came. The daylight began to get longer again. From that date, so Shaitan convinced the people that after three days and three nights, the sun got its life back on the 25th of December. And some of the bad people started to believe in Shaitan and started to celebrate December 25th as the sun's birthday. Fact number two. During those olden days, the people who believed in the sun and the moon as their gods had three main figures for their worship. The father, mother, and the son. They believed that the father was the sun, which was their god, the mother as their moon, which was the god's wife, and for the sun, it's interesting. They thought when God wanted to come into this world to help the humans, he had to go into his wife's belly so that his wife could become pregnant. The God stayed in his wife's belly for nine months and after he came out from his wife's belly as a little helpless baby. So they thought that that baby was the son of God which was also the main god, in a human form. Once the baby grew up, he was unfortunately killed in his young age. But after three days and three nights, he was born again and said hi to his people and then left the earth and went to the heaven. Fact number three. Throughout different places around the earth, somehow the people worshipping this idea of a god going inside the wife's belly and coming out as a little baby became a common concept in several parts of the world. However, they use different names. In India, they use different names along with places like Egypt, China, Japan, Greece, and Rome as well. 
In Babylon, the mother's name was Ishtar, and the son's name was Tammuz, and his father was Nimrud. Fact number four. Since many of the places had adopted the same story all throughout the world from these olden days, almost all of the gods' birthday became December 25th. Fact number five. Historians say that all of these crazy ideas of worshipping the sun and moon came from Nimrud and his wife. It was the time during Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. And the bad king Nimrud claimed that he was the sun and the people's god. One time he even argued with the Prophet for that. You can find the story in the Quran, Surah Baqarah, verse 258. Fact number 6 After Numrud was killed by his enemy, Numrud's wife started saying that, that Numrud did not die and he had returned to his own place, which was the sun. He started to say that from that point, his name would be Baal, or known as the sun god. Later, when she gave birth to a son, the Muz, that her husband Namrud was reborn as a human god to save the world. And his birthday was also on December 25th. Fact number seven. Now, you might be a little confused since this video was supposed to be about Christmas and why Muslims don't celebrate it. But the point is that Christmas falls under the date of December 25th. So far, everything that we have discussed were collected from Christian historians and researchers. And even they say that they don't know the real birthday of Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Some historians say that Isa, or Jesus, peace be upon him, was born in April, while others say he was born in August. But almost all of the Christian historians agree that Jesus, peace be upon him, was not born on December 25th. So then, now we need to know why it is that people are celebrating his birthday on December 25th in the first place. Fact number 8. A long time ago, the Romans used to celebrate an evil festival that was a week long, and it was around the time of December 25th, and it was for their sun god, Saturn. Around 400 years after Jesus, peace be upon him's birth, Christianity began to control most of Europe. The priests did not like that the Romans were doing this evil festival, so they made a plan to stop the evil festival. The Christian priests created a false birthday for Jesus, peace be upon him, so that the people wouldn't be celebrating the festival for their sun god, Saturn. They made it so that the festival would be for the Son of God, Jesus, peace be upon him. Ordinary people just wanted to have fun and enjoy their time. For them, it was not a big deal whose birthday they were celebrating. And that's how Christmas started to be celebrated on the 25th of December. Day by day, this newly created festival turned to be a crazy and violent festival. For thousands of years, it was a very scary festival. Drunk people were on the streets doing all kind of bad jobs. So when the colonists from England came to America for the first time, they ordered the people so that be no more Christmas celebrations in the new world of America. During the 19th century, when a lot of immigrants started to come to America from different places, they brought with them their different cultures. And that's how Christmas slowly started to become celebrated in America. And just a little fun fact, Alabama was the first state to approve Christmas to be celebrated as a public holiday in 1836. Fact number 9. So because of this old crazy history and Jesus peace be upon him's made up birthday, there are many Christians who don't celebrate Christmas as their holiday for that reason. And finally, fact number 10. In Islam, 
Any made up creation in the name of religion is not allowed. And if people start saying false information in the name of religion, that is completely forbidden. So most of the Muslim scholars try and teach to be careful when involving in man-made religious festivals. Muslims don't need any false information to make Prophet Jesus peace be upon him great because he is already one of the great prophets selected by the one and only God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each and every Muslim has to respect Jesus peace be upon him as one of the great prophets and believe in his miraculous birth and all of his great miracles done by him with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Muslims have to pray for him whenever any Muslims even mention his name. Jesus peace be upon him. So, now that we know the history behind this date, you should decide for yourself. Should Muslims involve in a celebration with the date of December 25th? said the video itself was quite um confusing so what's the main point of this video exactly because as much as we want to focus on the negative why it's wrong why it's this why it's that we should sit down and also consider facts like the fact that she said they all believed in a god but across different continents countries everyone gave their god different names so are we talking about the same god just different names there's that factor to consider when it comes to christmas um, there's a lot to think about was jesus really born in december was it august was it april was it what some people say he was born in winter some summer why this confusion because as much as we're confused at the end of the, the day, we're going to have to decide on something. What what about those Christians that actually don't ce celebrate Christmas, but do believe Jesus exists? And what about those that celebrate Christmas and believe that Jesus was actually born on the 25th? So, what's the difference? But again, the world is so misguided because many things, many events that we celebrate don't even make sense. Christmas is debated on. People are not sure, not even Christians who say Jesus was born on Christmas are sure. But there's other events like Black Friday. How many of us are out there shopping? How many of us are online shopping? We're also taking part of that event, but what did that event symbolize? So many things that we should do away with, so many things that we should think about before we find ourselves taking part the first church was in ethiopia and they have a way different calendar from the rest of the world so i don't think it's wise to judge each other though but i wonder are we following the wrong year or what we should also ask ask ourselves that ethiopia is in 2012 and the rest of the world is in 2019 what's up with that but anyway, this was a great video. Hope you guys loved this reaction. Let me know if there's anything that you want us to do and we'll do it for you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.